This week on Life on Jupiter, we have a very close call with a towboat. We stumble across an awesome band. And I surprise Princess with a night out. In the wilds of Illinois. Busy, busy morning, lots of traffic. Yeah. So there's 11 boats which I'm gonna try and fit in this lock here. Didn't realize these locks are sort of, they definitely put commercial traffic first and there's a fair bit of commercial traffic. <clears throat> yeah. And I don't think you can go in the lock at the same time as commercial traffic. So anyway, they, this uh, group of uh, loopers here contacted the log date said uh, it's best if you all go at once so that's what we're doing so we might wrap up with another boat or we will definitely craft it yeah. but and we'll probably be on the wall These locks cater to commercial traffic that ply the waters from the Great Lakes all the way down to the Gulf of Mexico. We were impressed with the floaters. These are floating bollards which travel down a channel in the wall of the lock. Unfortunately though, there may only be four or perhaps six of these floaters. So rafting was required. They also had lines running down so that you could stabilize the boat with more than one connection point. <laughs> you think gonna, that's going to cut the rope? Better than my teeth. <laughs> good because otherwise they'd be trying to overtake us because yeah. we're slow. Well I guess commercial traffic has the priority. We've been here nearly an hour maybe 45 minutes and uh, this barge and tug here is, uh, they still haven't closed the gates on the lock. Anyway, we're anchored. It's nice and calm, it's lovely weather, and we're getting some jobs done. We're fine, but there's nine other boats behind us here, they're getting impatient. Uh, find something else productive. Sharing a lock with this many other boats could be entertaining. Tensions are high, tempers can flare, you can count on there being some sort of drama. I don't have this good grip. I don't have this strong a grip. Okay. I can't get it any stronger. My hand. Sorry about that first line. I didn't realize it wasn't a This might help a little bit. I 
we doing that, babe? Not really, right? So that's why you need a line. As the fleet approached the last lock of the day, we were told there's a barge coming out and that we must move over and make room. This was easier said than done. Although the river looks wide, the left hand bank is very shallow. Some of the fleet didn't allow enough room between themselves to manoeuvre. I underestimated the amount of suction being pulled into the prop wash. We almost hit a river marker. You see that? That was our dinner. We've just dropped the anchor here in a river and I heard this music wafting down and I thought, well, we're gonna go check it out. So now we're tied up at a dock with a band. From Ottawa, right? Yeah, yeah. Saying hi from Ottawa. <laughs> On the river. <laughs> What's your name? I'm Nancy. I'm Carl. Nice to meet you guys. You too, you too. Welcome. 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 And the next day, we did it again.
are in Ottawa, Illinois. It's a little town um, on the river, obviously, because yeah. <laughs> we can't get any other place. Um, we've been here, this is our, we've been here three nights. <laughs> Was it <laughs> Saturday night? We anchored just down here, half a mile, and after a long day of uh, lots of uh, looper boats and locking and traffic and barges and dropped the anchor and just uh, relax but yeah. we could hear this music live music coming down the river so ah, up anchor again <laughs> and we came up just here another half a mile and they got their own dock yeah and um, yeah we just tied up and the band was happening right here and asked the manager and he says no worries so um, and he was he said we got music Sunday too and then Monday it's closed so you're welcome to stay so we did <laughs> <laughs> yeah we are a little bit busy yeah just busy with videos and I've been on the computer researching rigging options for replacing our rigging before we leave the US and I had to do my tax in Australia, so it's been a good little break. Thankfully, we've just slowed the pace a little bit. Um, we're not going every day anymore, which is good. But we should get going. Yeah, so. too long here now. Again? Do you think there's a leak? I can smell it last night. Yeah, I've been smelling it a bit too. So yeah, there's a crazy guy up there. He's leans over the rail and he says, nee, 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 <laughs> And I'm going, where are you from? <laughs> and, and then he walked off. Anyway, let's go shopping. Night, and we're on the dock here at the city, Petoria. Mm. And there's just lots of hoodlums on the boardwalk area talking about the boat and uh, loud music and yelling and shouting. So. There's no way I could sleep there. Just wanted to get out. So 
So we've actually backtracked about a mile, but it's nice and quiet here and very shallow. <laughs> that much below the rudders, but that's all right. I think we're out of the way of the barges, which is important, and uh, it's nice and quiet. And much harder for any riffraff to come aboard. Well, we're underway again. Eight o'clock, not too bad start. We had a sleepless night once again. I sort of always do. After we had to uh, leave the noisy party scene. It was up until midnight or so. Uh, and then there was um, these trains, my God, going really, really slow. Obviously they're freight trains, they're really long, really heavy. And uh, they seriously take like 45 minutes to pass. And the entire time they're honking their horn. Ah, oh my God. And we had, so we had two of those, woke me up both times. And then we had a barge, which is the real threat that we had, but we were well clear of the channel, which is good. With only that much under the rudders, it was worthwhile. Ah, we've probably got uh, two or three days to go before we get to St. Louis. We always, uh, so obviously we don't use marinas because that's not uh, within our budget. Um, usually we're too big for the marinas around here anyway. Uh, but even if we could fit, we wouldn't be using marinas because uh, of the money factor. We don't have a retirement or an income so much at the moment. A little bit of dribble feeding. So when we see a free wall like that in town, sort of get it, you know, a bit excited about it tie up we went to Walmart that was great but and we always end up tending to regret it <laughs> and imagine if we'd actually paid money for that marina there and you got this party going on on the beat on the shore just right next to you and there's a risk of people coming down and annoying you uh, B we've got a really low one here can you have a look So, uh, you know, it was just so peaceful to go and anchor out there in the, in the quiet, apart from the trains. You need to get a long way away from them to not hear them though. But uh, there's stress in being on the wall there, you know, when the public can be right. The public can get on the boat. We're locked inside, but I mean, uh, that could cause havoc, cause problems, could be an hour before the police come, you know, I mean. I don't think we're going to use any more town walls, B. Yeah, so apart from being free, it is much more relaxing to be on the anchor. We've stopped for the night. It's about nearly five o'clock, probably an hour or two of daylight. And we're snug up close to the bank, which is, um, you know, shallow water, obviously, but 
I'm also worried about swinging into the channel with these barges coming down, so I think I'm going to put an anchor out on the bank there. That's my plan. And maybe spend a little time ashore. Set up the the chairs and maybe have a little fire. We got sausages. I cooked them up on the beach. Just for something different. Get off the boat. Princess doesn't know. I think she'll be happy. waiting. <laughs> Look what Jamie did. So I'm editing video earlier and he's so quiet and I ask him what is he doing? And then he's making dinner. <laughs> Surprise! He's very sweet. <laughs> Across the track, don't look back. All the jack, which roll on. City lights, what oh, blinds your eyes? Don't look twice. Early start. Got 7:30. I think we left. Another beautiful day. The weather's just been amazing. No rain. Not much wind. <laughs> not too hot. Not too cold. Just beautiful. 
got about two days left before we get to St. Louis. Got barge traffic ahead, we've got to overtake in a minute. He's only narrow, he's only a single single barge. Yeah. Single line of barges. Did you see that earlier? Yeah, I heard him go past. Anticipation to turn before you know to get the bow around. Hard work, I said. It's mainly courtesy, but see, it depends on the the curve, the bend of, in the river. See this bend coming up to the to the right in front of him. He's got to go right, so he's he's going to come way over to the left to push the bow around. So if we're on the left side, yep. we'd be in his way. So that's why you should ask. And it just depends. Like there's no point asking too early because maybe we take 10 minutes to catch up and then he's in that bend and it has to change his mind. You know? So we'll wait till we get right up close. Richard? Oh my God. Can you read that? No, it's the, it's like no. Richard. A funny name for a boat, Richard. I could I should call this boat Peter. It looks like Richard. Richard's thing. I think it's Richard. Is it Richard? Tugboat in my front. This is Jupiter 2 catamaran behind you. Portside, thank you. It is Richard. Ah, this river life. It's hard to keep the boat clean. <laughs> Apart from the, the muddy water, which ends up on the deck everywhere. It's the insects. And every uh, morning we seem to come out and find a new swarm <laughs> of insects, which has decided to either start living on Jupiter or die on Jupiter. Anyway, let's have a look at these guys. I think they're a caddis fly or something. I don't know what they are. And they don't want to leave. It's like, all I can do is pick them off. Go on. Hey guys, we're sitting just north of St. Louis, northern suburbs of St. Louis, in the rain. 
Mm -hmm. uh, front coming through at the moment, and um, yeah, this is our. We just decided to stay again a third day, um, mainly because we've got internet, <laughs> so we're getting some work done. And uh, yeah, I mean, we've got about a five-hour journey to get around the, the city of St. Louis to the other side. So the rain seems to have stopped now, um, but it's 1 p.m. and it's dark by 5.30, you know, so um, we'll stay again, keep working. We're working on our website. We're going to have a website up soon. And I don't know if you noticed... We have some sample merchandise. <laughs> Which one you like? Black or white? Well, I, yeah, look at that. How's that? That should be your daily creed. <laughs> and, yeah, I know it's a bit cold, but look at this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's it look like? Is it all right? Yeah. You like it? I like it. Color is so bright. You let us know. Do you like it? <laughs> Me too. So yeah, princess got a nice one. Sexy one. Sexy one. <laughs> so uh, we've worked out. We've got what five weeks left on our visa entry, mm -hmm. and we've only got about twenty days of motoring. So that's cool. We can chill a bit, and that's why we've stopped here for a while. Um, the next sort of stepping stone, I guess, is Paducah. We will be there maybe in about four days' time. And um, hopefully in time for the fall colours. The, the leaves yeah. are changing. Not here yet, but hopefully uh, in a couple of weeks we're going to see the beautiful fall forest. Yeah, that's pretty. Yeah, and we want to try and get across. We're going to maybe take a marina for a couple of days and um, probably a bus because car hire at the moment is crazy money because of this car shortage which is unbelievable in this day and age something about microchips being out of stock or something so we want to get across to Memphis and go visit Elvis <laughs> and uh, Nashville so they're an hour Memphis is an hour west and Nashville's an hour east of Paducah so that's our plan. Mm -hmm. Go and see a bit of that heartland. Anyway, guys, uh, going to get back to the editing. Hope you had a great week. We'll see you next week. Why you made it? Oh, I don't want black. <laughs>